As cameras and their sensors and lenses continue to get so sharp and clinically detailed that they almost threaten to slice your eyeballs open, oh God. sometimes I think we need to slow that roll and take some of the edge off. Tiffin makes all kinds of filters to put between your glass and the world. And even though there's a lot you can do to tweak your images in post, sometimes nothing beats getting it the way you want it right from the get-go. As I always say, don't do in post what you can do in camera. You never say that. No, I, I say, I, I say that. I, seriously, I, I, I say it all the time. What I want to focus on today is my Black Pro Mist 1 half diffusion filter. It's the only strength that I have at the moment, but I do plan on picking up uh, some buddies to go along with it. Now, they have several different types and a variety of densities that all create uh, subtly different effects. Sure, I'd love to do a video comparing like all of them, but these things are like $100 a pop and you know, I'm not Mr. Fancy Johnny Money Pants Dollars guy. So this is all you get. Anyway, I have this as a 77 millimeter screw-on filter. I use step-up rings to normalize all of my lenses to 77 millimeters so that I only have to buy, you know, one of each filter that I need. You know, pro tip, it's cheaper to buy step-up rings than it is to buy multiple versions of all your filters because that's, that's just weird. You know what, I'm just gonna put this on here, let's do that. Ultimately, I'm kind of doing this video as a reference to benefit myself as much as you out there. So I shot several examples using different lenses in different environments to see how it performs with said lenses and environments. So, you know, let's go to the computer and take a look at those right now. We're at the computer now. Let's take a look at some of these shots. They're not particularly good. But uh, I, you know, want to see what to expect in certain situations. So the first ones I have here are uh, daytime shots. This is without the Promist filter. Now let's take a look at it with the filter on. Now you can see that there's like a, a slight lowering of contrast. And if you take a look in between the two buildings here, there is a bloom coming from the sky behind it. Let's take a look at the next one here. What I wanted to do with this one was to see if the sharpness was affected at all by the diffusion filter, as you might expect it to be. This is without ProMist and with ProMist. I would say when it comes to the shadows, some of that detail actually comes out. So where I thought maybe there would be that uh, softness on those fine details, they are still intact and sometimes just a little bit clearer to see. The next one that I have here uh, has a couple cars on the street. What I really wanted to focus on here were the speculars coming off these car windows. So this is without the diffusion. Here we have it with the Pro Mist on and you can see that there's this, this halation or like bloom coming from those specular highlights. Of course, next up, we go from day to night. The exposure is pretty low on this one because I wanted to uh, get the details of inside the windows. I didn't want to just completely blow them out. So this is without the Pro Mist and this is with it. So now you can see at night that the Pro Mist is a little bit of a different beast. Here's another one that's uh, not quite as dark. I think that previous shot was uh, 24 millimeter and this is at 50. And here it's, yeah, it's definitely not a lot more subtle on this image and you get those, those just nice uh, highlights being pumped up. Now the next one is on the street corner. I think this is also at 50 millimeter without ProMist and with ProMist. That's a huge difference. That is all of those uh, bright points of light there just get these very distinct halos around them. And it does give you that kind of like dreamy look to it. Here's another shot at that same corner. And I believe now this I'm shooting with the, uh, with my 105 millimeter lens. So without ProMist and with ProMist. The way it seems to me is that with the longer lenses, those big blooming areas are just that much bigger. Uh, what you can really see in this image is that the filter does introduce some ghosts from reflections happening between the filter and the lens itself. Yeah, down in this corner, you can see the ghost from that light and vice versa here. So the last shot I have here uh, has definitely got like a lot more uh, light sources in it. And this is of course without 
Pro Mist and with. So yeah, you can see just how like rich and thick it becomes. It does have those, those ghosts. If you're shooting some video, you might find that you have to work around them. To me, it looks like the way that these filters perform in uh, day versus night is kind of like night and day, I guess. During daylight, it looks like you could definitely pack on more diffusion than this. Like you could go with a much stronger, denser filter. Whereas at night, this one half is probably pushing as far as you might want to go with it. If you do go with a, a more dense filter, you're gonna, it's gonna be crazy out there. But hey, if that's what you're looking for, then that's what you're looking for. I love using this thing. And I think this has proven to me that uh, I should probably buy more of them. Okay, back to not here. I hope this video was as helpful for you as it was for me. If you liked it, please uh, hit like, um, hit subscribe if you wanna see more. Make sure you ring the bell so you get notified of new videos. If you have any comments, I would love it if you would leave them below because I'd like to hear from you. And uh, I guess I will see you in the next one. See ya.